Hi, how's it going? Hello everyone. When I previously tested the TIG performance of the CT2050, I used the foot pedal and found that not only did the machine fail to reach the rated output on AC, but when used with the foot pedal, the max output was even less. So this is just a quick video to share the results of some additional testing I've done with the torch mounted amperage control to see if that suffers the same reduced output that the foot pedal does, as well as a bit more testing with various frequency and balance settings. It turns out that the torch mounted amperage control suffers the same problem as the foot pedal. With the machine set at 200 amps with 25% balance at 60 hertz, the welder puts out around 175 amps when using the torch switch and only 150 amps when using either the foot pedal or the torch mounted amperage control. I also tested various AC balance and frequency settings. I didn't find any frequency adjustments to affect the output, but the balance setting affects the output quite a bit. Anything from 50 to 25% in the machine can output around 176 amps max, but once you go below 25%, the output begins to drop quickly. As I mentioned before, at 25%, output is around 175, 176 amps in 2T mode and 150 amps with the foot pedal or torch mounted amperage control, but at 15% balance, the output drops to just 113 amps with the foot pedal or torch amperage control and around 130 amps when just using a torch switch. I'm used to squeezing a bit more heat out of an AC tick machine on clean metal when I don't need heavy cleaning action by setting the balance to 15% to get more electrode negative time. But a setting of 15% on this machine drastically lowers the output. One last thing to share just because, that popping and stuttering that the arc sometimes does was interesting to see on the waveform of the oscilloscope. It's very obvious that the positive polarity output is simply failing a percentage of the time. You can see blips on the waveform where the positive side of the pattern simply isn't there. In the end, the reduced output with the foot pedal doesn't seem like a foot pedal issue because the amperage control on the torch behaves exactly the same. I think it's more likely an issue, or just a quirk, of the welder. Regardless, the output of the welder is all over the place depending on what setting or control method you use, and at no point did I ever get more than 176 amps out of it, despite the max supposedly being 200. And even to get that 176, you can't use any remote amperage control, and you have to use a minimum of 25 to 30% electrode positive balance. So ultimately, the AC TIG function of this welder is disappointing. So that's it for this one. Hopefully that was helpful or interesting. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.